2018 was the year of the pot stock and cannabis bulls predict another one is right around the corner. Here's their take on why right now may be the best time to get in. Are we going to look back at this time and think that was the time when cannabis really took off, where it was really publicly accepted, where, where the money could be made? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. When we opened our first store, one of our investors was learning jujitsu so that he could better handle himself in the event that he did go to prison. Steve White, CEO of Harvest Health and Recreation, one of the largest cannabis companies in the U.S. What's changed? I mean, what is it about right now? Historically, for the average investor, cannabis was way too risky. In a couple of years, your question is whether or not everybody's going to be on board. So right now you're in that sweet spot where you can have, where you could make tremendous returns if you invest in cannabis. We're at an inflection point, the golden era of cannabis investing. Yes, I will say this is the golden era. I truly believe that. Danny Moses, legendary investor who bet against subprime mortgages, AKA the big short. And Danny Moses, yeah, very no. the optimist of the bunch uh, all right. and a hell of a trader. And so that was the big short. Yeah. Is this the big long? This is the big long. It's the best macroeconomic opportunity I've seen within the U.S. markets in my career. Was there a light bulb situation when you thought, this is it? This could be a huge business. Well, I went to a dispensary in Denver right when the market opened, and it was eye-opening. Vivian Azer, the first pot stock analyst for a major investment firm, Cowan & Company. There were young people, there were old people, there were people that looked affluent and not. And keep in mind, five years ago, it was still really taboo. In five to 10 years, how big will this industry be in, according to your estimates? Cannabis in the U.S. should be as big as tobacco in the U.S. Those are just a few reasons why bulls say right now is the time to invest. Hear more from them, plus some fascinating arguments against investing in the space, the risk factors, all that during our new CNBC original documentary, High Risk, High Reward, Cannabis Inc. That premieres at the top of the hour, right after Fast Money on CNBC. Um, Tim, you are a longtime investor in this space. Uh, you've got an ETF that has various positions. And I'm wondering for you, what do you see as the biggest risk factor out there? I think right now, first of all, you have a lot of companies that, that are, are still relatively immature companies, with all due respect to some very sophisticated operators. But the, the, the environment where corporate governance and really assessing um, that landscape is the toughest thing to do in an early asset class. The regulatory environment right now, to me, is actually a tailwind. I know it feels like we've had so many tailwinds. But when you think about the industry, there's actually been a fair amount of headwinds in the last six months relative to where people thought. For example, the East Coast hasn't flipped and gone fully recreational. Everybody expected New York and New Jersey were going to probably at least have made their approvals to be ready by year end. Uh, the dynamic with the, the DOJ, so the HSR uh, holdup, which is the, uh, the Hart-Scott-Rodino Act, which you don't need to know all those initials, initials other than to know there's been already a number of very big deals in the sector that have not been approved because the DOJ hasn't signed off on them. A lot of people felt that was the government not signing off. I actually, in talking to a number of these CEOs, they're actually quite pleased with the DOJ. The DOJ is doing very thoughtful work. The DOJ is actually taking this industry extremely seriously. I think that's a catalyst. And then the big catalysts really are, are, are the Banking Act, so the right. Safe Banking Act, which will allow states who have approved and where the people have voted, and where, as we know, constitutionally, the state should be allowed to do, let them be banked. Let them also have accounting practices that allow the companies to follow normal accounting practices. So I think the tailwinds out there, um, it's not a Pollyanna view. I, there's, there's obviously a lot of, of, of pitfalls that can go on, and I think it's still very, very early stages. But this industry is still yeah. so disaggregated that there's a lot of room for consolidation. I mean, being a nascent industry, there's not the medical research to back up a lot of the medical claims, which is a big part of the investing story. Um, and there's also, because these uh, some of these companies are very immature and they're new, there are corporate governance issues as well that investors need to be aware of uh, when they go into the space. Well, it's intriguing to me. I think there's a two parts, bifurcating mm -hmm. the medical issue with the recreational, recreational right? Yeah. So I'm wondering, is there another, the, I'm sure you know, another giant tailwind of the Pepsi's and whomever, Constellation brands already, but giant companies in the, in, you know, the snack space or, or related sure. or spirits or, whatever, or beer um, becoming buyers of all of them. 
and the valuation is just going up dramatically from here. Well, you would need federal legalization for, for so that, the, the for an outright acquisition, right? Um, you need federal legalization for these companies to put their own listings and a lot of just their core businesses at risk. So um, I think they are waiting. Yeah. I, I think that, that hemp CBD farm bill legalization has given a platform for a lot of companies, though, to get involved now and lay out that infrastructure. And what's that infrastructure? That's CVS. That's some of the biggest retailing chains in the world are involved right now who have partnered already with some of these existing U.S multi-state operators who who really I have to say even though we know that the industry is going to change dramatically and a month is a dog year in this industry so um, it's moving so quickly that I think you really do need to be investing and staying close to people that that are, are following the sector but I, I think you're going to get to a place where you're actually going to see some of these regulations begin to to play out where you can get big companies to come in now but the multi-states have a head start right. I think some of these big players right now are going to be able to box people out